and girls, it's Miss Catherine. Well, I know we've got a very fun holiday coming up. Do you know what it is? Easter. Now, I like Easter too. It can be really, really fun. You have things like bunny rabbits and the chocolate candies. I love getting the day after candy for sale and then I could have her for a while. And I even give it to friends sometimes because it's half price candy. And that for a grown up is fun too. But for y'all, you have the candy and the bunnies, you have the egg hunts, you get, to get together with family and friends. So Easter can be really, really fun. But did you know that none of this is what Easter's really about? It's not. To find out what Easter's really about, we're going to go to God's true word, the Bible. Now, in the Bible, we find out why Easter even happened. Because you know what? You and I have a problem, and that's called sin. Sin is what you think, say, and do that goes against God that breaks his rules. And all of us have disobeyed God. You and I have done things that God says are wrong. And your sin keeps you separate from God. That's the punishment for sin. But God knew you couldn't get rid of your sin. You can't do anything about it. And so God made a promise that he would send a savior, someone who could make the way that you could be forgiven. And that savior is Jesus. Jesus is God, the son. He came, he was born as a baby. He was all God and he became also all man. He is that promised savior. And after living a perfect life, Jesus, he allowed himself to be lied about, to be hurt, and then to be nailed onto a rough wooden cross. And on that cross, he gave his blood to pay for your sins and mine. Jesus, he is the promised savior. He died for you and me, and he was buried. The Bible tells us he was placed in a new tomb. It was even sealed up. But then three days after Jesus had died, some women who were his followers were going to the tomb and they saw something. Now listen closely. You can find this in the book of Luke in the New Testament. In chapter 24, on the first day of the week at early dawn, they went to the tomb to take the spices they had prepared and they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they went in, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. They were perplexed. I mean, they were really confused. And then behold, or pay attention, two men stood by them in dazzling apparel clothing. And they were frightened. The ladies were scared. And they bowed their faces to the ground. And the men said, Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee that the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and on the third day rise again. And they remembered his words. And returning from the tomb, they told all of these things to the eleven, to the other followers of Jesus. So Jesus, he died for you and me. He paid for your sin, but he is not dead. He came alive. He is the reason that we have Easter to celebrate that he died for your sin. He paid for it completely, but he is alive because of what Jesus has done. You can be forgiven. You can have a relationship with God that will never, ever stop. If you know that you've done wrong things, then you can talk to God about that. Anytime that you are ready to believe on Jesus, you can. Listen to this promise that God has made in the book of Acts. Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. If you know that you've done wrong and you're sorry, and if you believe that Jesus died for you, that he paid for your sin, the only one who can do that for you, then you can be saved. You can be rescued from your sin punishment because of Jesus. Whenever you're ready to trust Jesus as your Savior, you can. You can just talk to God and tell him that, yes, you know you've done wrong and you're sorry. You can tell God what you believe about who Jesus is and what he did for you on the cross. And then you can tell God you want to live his way with his help because he promises he will do that. Now, if you've already trusted Jesus as your Savior, then you know Jesus has forgiven you. He is with you. And you have an even greater reason to celebrate Easter because that's the day we celebrate that Jesus came alive from the dead as the risen Savior. And you can tell your friends, your family this Easter that while the bunny and the chocolate and egg hunts are fun, you can tell them the real meaning of Easter. 
Now, if you have questions or comments, or maybe today you trusted Jesus as your savior for the first time, we would love to hear from you. If you're watching on Facebook, you can just comment below. But if you're watching on YouTube, our number and our email are on the screen and in the description, and you can reach us that way. We would love to hear from you and then answer you back. Don't forget what Easter is really about. Bye, guys.